Hey guys and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. If you're new here, it's all about me, a self-taught sewist, teaching you everything I know about sewing. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Today we're adding trim to a basic tank top pattern. Anything that might be labeled as a boy pattern really can be for girls or boys. If you want to add a little bit of frill to it, trim is such a great and easy way to do that. You can do this to really any pattern. Just add a little bit of trim here and there. It just adds a little bit of interest. Okay guys, so you might have noticed that the print I'm using isn't totally feminine. I mean, yeah, it has princesses on it, but the rest of these, they're kind of masculine. So I'm going to add some trim to make it a little more girly. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is cut out my fabrics. And because this is for my daughter, I'm going to make sure I have some of the princesses on. This is the Great Adventure tank from Ellie and Mac. It says it's for a boy, but that's why we're making it girly pattern actually comes with the color blocking built right in. If you don't have a pattern that has color blocking, guys, it's simple. All you gotta do is take your pattern piece, cut it wherever you want the color blocking to begin, and then add your seam allowance to both pieces. So you would add a quarter inch to the top piece and a quarter inch to the bottom piece. Then you have it color blocked. You're welcome. Now that I have my fabric pieces cut, it's time to cut my trim. So what I want to do is I want to add trim between the color blocking, so here on the front and back, and I'm also gonna add some to the hem. So how I'm gonna do this is for the color blocking, I need to make it the length of the piece, but I, of course I wanna make it a little bit bigger and make sure it lines up in a good spot for the seam. So I'm actually gonna have to cut off one of these pom-poms pom for, the, for the side seam. Better to have it too long than too short, of course, and you waste and have to cut a new piece. And then I'm just gonna cut a second piece because these are the exact same size, I'm going to cut a second piece the same length. Then for the hem piece, I want to make it all one piece because I'll be sewing it on at the end with the hem. So I'm going to actually double this. And that will probably be enough, but I'm going to add a little more just in case. And again, cut off. So now it's time to construct. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my color blocking pieces together because that'll make one full front and one full back and then the rest is pretty simple after that. Top and bottom piece, right sides together. I got pom poms flying everywhere. So that's normally how you would do it. But since we're adding a little bit of trim, we want to sandwich that in between. So I'm going to lay it on the edge of my top piece and then bring this over and then clip in place and I'm going to serge it. And then I'll do the same with the front though. Here we go. Okay guys, I know I said I was doing this on my serger, but I'm totally doing it on my sewing machine because my serger will take all of this trim. All right, I have my shirt constructed, so now it's time to do the hem. I'm going to add cutesy little pom poms to the hem too. So what you want to do is start at one side seam and pin your pom pom to the right side. All right, so I'm just gonna go and sew this all the way along the front of my hand. So now when you get to the end, you wanna have an overlap and then just backstitch. And then just turn and top stitch the hem down and you're finished. 